the reason why the basics of fulfilling your life purpose are so important, you cannot stray from the basics. Is because no matter how perfect you are, and Steve Jobs was a perfectionist, when you're not fulfilling your life purpose, you cannot make any mistakes. One mistake, and the world will never let you forget it. But when you are fulfilling your life purpose, you can make a bunch of mistakes, and the whole world forgives you and says, Oh, it's okay, you're still on the right track. You're learning. Okay, wait. Why is that? How come this person has to be perfect? The other person gets to make a bunch of mistakes. And it's because when you're fulfilling your life purpose, you're connected to the web of life. You meet the people you're supposed to meet. You find the opportunities you're supposed to find. The universe can hand you things easily. But when you're not fulfilling your life purpose, you're separated from the web of life. It does not benefit the universe to hand you anything because you're not using it to contribute to the greater good. So once you build your $3 trillion company, the universe has no use for you. You can die, doesn't matter. But if one person who is connected to the web of life loves you and you love them in return all of a sudden the universe can't let you die you contribute to the greater good and that is why god wants you to fulfill your life purpose so that you can live and thrive god created your life purpose as a guarantee that as long as you try to follow it, you just try, that's enough to make sure that you're happy most of your life. Colossians 1.17 says, all things are held together inside God. God is the web of life. And you wanna be in that web of life, in God. Romans 11.36 says, for from him and through him and for him are all things. You want to do things from the web of life, through the web of life, and for the web of life, because then all things will be connected to you. And that's what a life purpose does for you. It connects you to all things. <laughs>